Hey, what's up everybody? I figured today I would show you what I carried and let's go over the J Cape 3.5 and the mini J Cape. See which one you prefer. All right, so what I carry today is the J Cape 3.5. There you go. And then I tend to match my gear. So I matched it up with Vero Engineering Pry Bar. And uh, Joseph was awesome. It's got carry every day on there with some bricks in the background. He sent that to me. And then I have a mini tactile turn Zerk with a Damascus bolt. Um, this is the Slim. So I'll show you what that looks like all together in a little bit. Took some videos outside. And then I have awesome Hank gear. Hank. I do like that it's smaller and I like Topo. So that's pretty much just what I carried around today. Went on one errand and then mainly just uh, flipped around the house a bunch, but always get prepared, right? All right, so let's talk about the JK 3.5. This particular one has 20 CV steel, which is a very good seal. You got a lot of wear resistance. It's got good edge retention and it's pretty stainless. I care about that a lot because I live in a very humid environment. So I actually prefer 20 CV. It's one of my favorite steels. It, it just is, okay. Um, beautiful blade there. I'll show you guys close ups in a minute. You've got that hollow grind right here, compound right here, just beautiful. This one has the Zerky Tie clip and backspacer, as well as thumb studs added. These thumb studs are from the mini JK kit, okay? They will fit, and he didn't release these for the regular 3.5, I'm pretty positive. So, these are from the mini, just so no one gets confused. And then you have your black handles here. I love this thing, okay? When I first got it in, I just kept flipping it over and over again, and I was, and this is kind of lame to get excited about, but I was so excited that it ringed. Um, that thing, you know, when you open the knife, it made me super excited. So, I probably made that sound about 130 times when I first opened it. But anyways, yeah, really, really solid knife here. I like the way it carries. Some people complain about the pocket clip. You know, it's a lightning bolt. I could care less. Um, I kind of like things that stand out, different odd designs. That doesn't bother me. Um, it's a little, I mean, it can be a little sharp on your pockets. I tend to carry when I carry something. Um, I'm pretty, I wouldn't say like anal, but fairly OCD about certain things. If I'm carrying a knife in my pocket, that's the only thing that's in my right pocket. Um, Everything else I'll carry, back pocket or left pocket. But as far as knives go, if I have a knife in my pocket, that's the only thing. So, it doesn't really bother me. Yes, it's got some sharp edges. I don't know. I haven't had any issues with it personally. I'm sure if, I'm sure if you uh, apply a lot of force when you're pulling it out, I'm sure it could tear or something. But, yeah. It's my thoughts. Just first impressions, thoughts um, about this knife that I had. All right, and let's take a quick look at the mini J Cape before I show close-ups and talk. A, um, oh, you see, I missed it there. And talk a little bit more about the knives. So this is the satin titanium. Yes, you heard that correctly. Do you see how shiny these scales are? Some might say fingerprint magnet. I say I'll wipe it off with my hank. Anyways, um, beautiful knife. I've, I've never had a knife where the blade satin and the scales are satin. It's beautiful. You've got the Zerk pocket clip, Zerk backspacer, Zerk thumb studs, and once again, 20 CV blade, beautiful compound grind. The hollow grind right here is just, mm. And I forgot to mention, of course, both of these are on ceramic bearings. So, very smooth, good action. Yeah. So, here we have the two. You can just see a 
little comparison right there. And uh, yeah, now we'll go to close-ups and talk about them a little bit more. All right, so here we have both of them. Which one do I like more? Let's talk about it. So, I have small hands, okay? Size small and gloves. This is my grip for the Mini J Cape. Looks good, right? Perfect. Here's my grip for the full size. So, I know you're probably gonna say, hey Kaylee, the Mini fits your hands better. Yes, it does, but I will say that the full size 3.5 J Cape is my favorite. There's something about how robust and just, and just crazy it feels. The design is just so attractive to me. For this to be a production run knife, the attention to detail and all the unique features just really blows my mind. It's got to be one of my favorite production knives out there. So, I'll tell you a few areas that the mini for me prevails. Um, for, you, for those of you that don't know, I'm a nurse. So when I carry a knife in my scrubs, obviously I'd like for people probably just to not notice that because it's, you know, probably frowned upon that I carry. But anyways, I do it anyways. This fits a lot better in my scrubs. And I'll actually show you the one I carry to work the most. This stone washed. Yes, I have a problem. No, I'm not getting help for it yet. If I like a knife, for some reason, I get two of them. I don't know. Like, if I really like a knife, I get two. I don't know. I'm working on it. I've actually uh, downsized a lot of my collection lately. But anyways, I carry this one to work a lot because I like the way it fits in my pocket. It's very small. Um, like I said, the pocket clip doesn't bother me, and that's on thin scrub pants material. And I like carrying the stonewash version to work because, obviously... If I bump into something, you're not even going to be able to tell. I actually am not very uh, friendly to my pocket clips at work. When they're, you know, sitting in my pocket, I transport a lot of patients and run around the hospital and do a bunch of random stuff with where I work. And a lot of times, uh, the edges of the bed frames and just random things, I'm always hitting it. So, um, I like carrying the stone wash to work for that reason. So, in an area that the mini prevails would be work carrying work appropriate settings if you work in an office i probably suggest the mini j cape um, if you don't care and you you know have one of those cool construction jobs or you work on a farm or something all day all day um, look at the cutting edge you get it's just such a sweet looking blade um, there you go and there they are side by side so a lot of times I've found makers, when you have a mini, sometimes they're too small, that they, they go a little too mini. But I will say that the mini J Cape, to be its size, still feels like a big knife because you still have thick handles, you have aggressive jimping. So I think you people out there with big hands, if you really were interested in getting the mini, I think it'd be okay because like I said, it still feels like a bigger knife in hand. So now that we've talked a little bit about the qualities, 20 CV blades, ceramic bearings, um, titanium framework, whole lot of awesomeness, okay? Let's do some size comparisons. All right, so I'm gonna try and do some size comparisons for some pretty common knives. Hopefully you have one so you'll know. But here it is against the PM2 from Spyderco. So you're, and this is the J Cape 3.5, okay? Your full size here. So PM2 is bigger there. When I first got into EDC and the higher quality knives, I would not buy a knife without watching a million videos on it first. So the size comparisons always helped me because, um, you know, just shows you right here what it's similar to. You can read measurements all day long, but for some reason, videos and size comparisons always help me the most. So anyways, here it, again, here it is against the uh, TRM Atom, okay? Let's see here, we got full-size bug out. Makes that guy look tiny. And then we have 
Sphero Engineering Axon, full size. Pretty close there, honestly, in a weird way. Um, let's see here. Pair three. There you go. It's like a oversized, more uh, BA pair three, huh? Anyways, and then just for funsies to make people irritated because a lot of people hate this knife. Here it is against the Grimsmo Norseman. Okay. So your Norseman is longer. Um, by the way, for my people that prefer or th are leaning towards the mini J cape, but you feel like it might be a little too small, adding a lanyard always helps extend the length. Okay. Um, this knife. The Norseman does not need a lanyard, but I thought it looked cool and matched the hardware. So say this was a really small knife and I didn't have small hands. Um, you know, when you have your full finger grip on there, you have a lanyard to hold on to. It just extends your grip length, okay? Um, so there's, an, there's always an option for adding a lanyard if your knife is just a tiny bit too small. Um, and you can put your knot closer too, so you really get extra grip. But anyways, there's some size comparisons for the full size. All right, some of the same knives, but let's do it against the mini J Cape. Benchmade bug out. TRM Adam. Let's do good old PM2. And let's see here. Pair three. Should we sew it against the Norseman just for fun? Sure, why not? What else are you doing? If you're watching a knife review video or knife video, whatever you want to call it. That's kind of funny. All right, anyways. So, all that's out of the way. There's a few size comparisons for you. Ah, oh, I love the sound of that ring. All right, anyways. So, here you go. Um... If you're on the fence about which one you want to get, I hope this helped. If not, thanks for watching the video. And, uh, yeah, I'll bring the ruler out now. Okay. There you go there. Mini. Let's try and line you up there. All right. So yeah, as far as action goes, the full size has a lot better action, in my opinion. There's nothing wrong with the action on the mini, see? Flicks out fast, will still drop shut, little shake. Um, but the action overall on the full size um, is better to me. But if, I wanted the mini it, it wouldn't it wouldn't stop me any because the action is still really good you can see that shakes down of course i could uh you can add skiff bearings if you want to be crazy or um, take it apart and clean it i'm sure there's you know better ways to get action on it and also just using it breaking in your knife always makes the action better so yeah i will have to give the win to the full size j cape on the action action part um Bam. There's going to be people yelling at me. Did you break it down? Did you put skiffs in? No, I haven't done that yet. Because the action is good enough for me. It doesn't bother me. Bam. There you go. But just comparing them right now, side by side, not doing any tricks, the full size has better action. So, that's just my opinion and thoughts on it. And I told you in the beginning of the video, told you guys about what I carried today. kind of wanted to just give a close-up of this pry bar from Bureau, uh, Bureau Engineering. I'm stuttering over here. Um, anyways, there's the full size. You've got, I have a flathead and a Phillips in there right now, but you also have um, a T6 and T8 that it comes with as well that you can carry in here for knife maintenance. But I believe he did this with a laser, a laser engraving. It's got bricks and then it's got carry every day. And this is one of my favorite pieces um, from my from all of my EDC items, this is this is one of my favorites. It's just really awesome. 
Joseph and Michelle are really awesome, nice people, good customer service. So, I know this is about J Capes and stuff, but Bureau Engineering always has a win in my book. So, there's that pry bar. And then here is the tactile turn. This does have the Damascus bolt. I mean, it's a tiny bolt, what can you say? Kind of dull, to be honest. I was expecting it to be a little brighter, but it's pretty cool. Um, still doesn't really bother me too much. Um, all black here with the Zerk. Pretty good size. I, I would have rather gotten a short, but they were out of stock and I was impatient, so I got the mini. So, works just fine. The reason I prefer the short is um, I use my pens at work and I write down quite a bit of notes throughout the night and throughout the shift. Um, I just find the shorts to be a little bit more comfortable, but the mini's fine and it's really easy to throw in a pocket and uh, just move on. So, there's the rest of my carry. This was what I had today. And then, bam, Hank. And now I'm gonna just show you guys some videos I took earlier outside of my carry. Um, it was overcast, so had a lot of good lighting, so hope you enjoy the next little video of uh, the carry I had today.